right up here. Alright. So we were fishing a bow fishing tournament night before last. Hunters down here from Missouri. And uh, we decided we'd do a little turkey hunting in Kentucky before he heads back. So, we got one bird so far that I've heard. We're gonna go after him, he's right up here. We just bumped a hen out of this big tree. Not gonna go any further. He's up a little ways. Just had another hen fly out of a tree. A little farther down. Two more. Hey, maybe that's his hands. We'll catch him by himself. Yeah. He was definitely farther up. Yeah, he was farther up. Out in a private pasture out there for about 
50, 60 yards from the property line, set up next to this blow down here. I'm just gonna get aggressive with them. leaving Hunter to mess with this bird. He's, there's actually a few really nice ridges in here he can walk. I'm gonna take the boat, try to find me a bird. We're guessing that those hens we spooked probably just walked back up to that gobbler and he's probably got hens. He's staying in a private pasture, but doesn't mean he won't be killed later. And I'm hoping I can find another one. I just sat down and checked my phone. Hunter killed that bird. I guess I could have stayed with him a little longer, but I was hoping he'd kill him anyways. <laughs> Wind is starting to pick up. I'm gonna drop down the holler, go back up to another ridge, hit a call a couple times. I'm gonna drop way to the back of the creek. There's some private fields back there. I'm not gonna hang around because I gotta go pick Hunter up. So, we're gonna do that, see if we can strike one up real quick. All right, I made it back to the back of the creek. That's the property line. I saw a guy in a red shirt out there in the field, so I didn't get an answer on my call, and that might have something to do with it. We're gonna head back, go pick up Hunter, see his bird, and take him back to the ramp. So what's the story? What's the story? Short story. Short version of this story. Uh, before you left or after? After I left. After you left. I worked around him up on the ridge and hit a couple calls. Fired him up and he slowly worked his way in around the ridge 24 yards. All it took was a different setting up from a different angle. I had a feeling you'd kill him. Yeah. I didn't, I was impatient with him. I wanted to find another bird so we could both maybe kill one. I said, you just stick with him. I don't feel like sitting here listening to, listening to him in the middle of that field, gobbling and not moving. Yeah. He's got two beards and this one's kind of split. <laughs> That's a thick beard too. He's got some of the biggest hooks I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, look at those things. I've killed one that, well, my Mississippi bird was a, not much longer than that. Really? Yeah, and then a buddy of mine killed one that were maybe not even that big. Yeah. Full fan, long beard. That's a nice bird, though. Yeah, thank you. How long of a drive you got back? Five and a half hours. Dang. So you shot good in the, in the bow fishing tournament. Got a little rest and come out here and shot good on a, a real nice long beard. Yeah, it's been a good week. Good weekend. It's been a really good weekend. Yeah. I would stay out today. Uh, I got a pile of video to edit.
and it's real windy up on the ridges so i'm not feeling it i tried though i walked two three ridges in the creek bottom didn't get an answer we got one down i'm gonna head on out of here